my dad, Big Sam, was a roofer. First in Indianola, Mississippi, and then in Oakland. My father passed in 2014, but if you drive around either place today, you will still see his work. Each roof with its own story to tell. One that took three months to finish because of storm delays. One where the homeowner changed his mind about the color right as we were laying the last shingle. And I'll never forget the one where a raccoon decided to make his home in a roof vent. My father's work was tangible, important, and very literally continues to be useful today. But putting on roofs wasn't my father's legacy. The way I see it, legacy is the foundation. It is the solid footing that we lay for others to build upon. It's what's left after a fire. But even foundations need tending to from time to time. And today, right now in the San Francisco Bay Area, we have the rare opportunity, or shall I call it an obligation, to revisit our foundation, to redefine what we care about. And if you aren't up for working on our foundation, I don't think you'd be here this morning. I most certainly wouldn't be. Tipping Point provides a powerful example of how a solid foundation not only survives over time, but provides an opportunity for growth. In October, I was invited to present at the UBS private client conference in Nashville. They were seeking advice on how philanthropic efforts could achieve greater impact. Now, I've been the CEO of Tipping Point for almost four years, and we made some big changes. We've doubled down on policy, redefined how we measure impact, and established new accountability measures. It's good work, and I'm proud of this work. But when I found myself in front of a national audience seeking advice on philanthropy, I looked to our foundation. Like focusing on upfront due diligence so that once a group is in our portfolio, we've already asked the hard questions. We know we have a very good understanding of them and vice versa. And providing unrestricted funding. Our grantees decide how they use the money, not us. They know more about their businesses than we do. Sure, we, I have opinions. <laughs> we offer advice, but they get to make the final call. And building trust and transparency by rolling up our sleeves to go beyond the dollars with targeted investments, whether it's providing strategic planning, technology, HR, or legal help. And many of our capacity building partners in it are in the room today. Thank you. <laughs> our grantees know that when they show us their flaws, we double down. We don't run away. And believe it or not, all of these things were part of Tipping Point's foundation from day one and are still ahead of the curve today. When I was in Nashville, I reached out to my cousin Reggie, who lives there. We met for lunch at the Four Seasons where the UBS meeting was taking place. As I greeted him in the lobby, the first thing he said to me was, cuz, I didn't know Nashville had a Four Seasons. <laughs> We talked, shared family photos, and laughed about how, how we were dressed almost identically that day. At some point, Reggie turned to me with a more serious expression. He said, you know, I didn't know it was your dad, Big Sam, who made the holidays happen for us when I was a kid. Of course, I knew this because we talked about it as a family. It was the foundation that my father laid 
And these are the building blocks that we carry forward. And today, as the CEO of Tipping Point, I have the opportunity to support organizations that help thousands of people keep a roof over their head. That's my father's legacy. And as we go into the holiday season, I hope you'll consider us in your year in giving and what we can do together for generations to come. Thank you all for being here this morning and happy holidays.